Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It might be a huge Monday of FIFA 23 content today because we are expecting the SBC that everybody wants to see, the Max 87 rated Hero Upgrade Pack. I think there's a very, very high chance of that SBC dropping today. We'll talk about that and, of course, what it is going to do to the market because a lot of people will have to sell cards in order to do this SBC so I'm expecting a lot of prices to go down today but I'm also expecting some player prices to go up on the SBC fodder uh, side of the market and of course there's going to be plenty of coins to be made today with hero cards themselves and so many other areas of the market. It's going to be a pretty crazy Monday, I do believe. Also, we should get upgrade packs today. Hopefully, the 80 plus packs return. And I want to talk about how the market's going to react even before the content drop today. Will we see our normal Monday market rise with Foot Champs rewards being given out? We're going to talk all that and more in today's video. So if you're excited for this icon pack, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. If you're like, Nate, what in the world is the icon pack you're talking about? Let's just quickly go over the basics. On Thursday of last week, EA added this pack to the code, 87 overall max hero. And every day since then, people have been waiting for this pack to drop. In my opinion, this pack is the most, um, I guess, has the most anticipation of any pack that we have had dropped in FIFA 23 yet, especially in terms of an SBC pack. And the reason why we feel so strongly about this being today is just one week ago, we had the Max 86 Icon upgrade dropped on Monday. It was two squads. It was pretty good value for a Gamble SBC, 140,000 coins, and a lot of people went out and did it because it was the first Icon upgrade of the year, and honestly, it wasn't terrible value. Now, I didn't do this one, but I know a lot of people did, and what we're looking for this week is basically just a more hype version of an SBC like that, of course, including the hero cards. Now, max 87 rated, so what heroes are going to be packable from this today? You've got Yaya Toure, you've got Marquisio. Those are probably the top two cards that you can pack from the SBC today. Govu, Smolarek, Cordoba, Robbie Keane, Harry Cool. The list here is pretty nice. I mean, there's only like, I think, 10 or so heroes that are not packable. Like, you can't get Volar, you can't get Okocha, you can't get Lucio, Mascherano, you know, Forlan. There are some really top tier heroes that won't be packable from this SBC pack, but a lot of really solid ones. As you can see by the price, right? 1.2 mil for Yaya is the most expensive card. The cheapest one, Lars Ricken, 22k. You do have a fair chunk of heroes that are under 100,000 coins, but you have a lot of heroes that are between 100k and 300k as well. So when we think about a price on this SBC, I'm thinking it's going to be similar to the Max 86 Icon upgrade, but I think EA know that hero cards are just more hyped in this year's FIFA than Icons are. Let's be completely honest, right? EA added a bunch of new heroes in this past uh, year uh, compared to FIFA 21. Or sorry, FIFA 22. Wow, went back two years there. Um, but... They've added a bunch of new heroes. These guys have really nice cards, and I just think that with the way heroes work for chemistry, heroes are more hyped than icons this year, right? That's a pretty well-known fact, and you, you can gauge it based off of prices on the market as well. I think that EA might make this SBC a little bit more expensive than the 86 icon was. I'm thinking somewhere around the 175,000 coin range for that SBC today. And of course, that makes you think, Nate, what kind of fodder and what kind of SBC cards are going to be going up on the market today? Because obviously people are going to have to go buy cards to do this, right? Yes, I do believe just like last week, you're going to see SBC prices rising on this game. SBC fodder as we call it, right? The cheapest players buy rating. I'll put the link to this page in the description. This is a very, very helpful page if you don't know where this is at on Flippin. But this, again, as we take a look at the fodder market, cards prices are slightly up, right? If you guys bought SBC fodder during the weekend, 85s are rising above 9,000 coins, 86s are in like 14K, above 14K range, 84s are 2.2, and 87s are about 18K. I do think that if the SBC is going to be a little more expensive today, one way they could do that is make it an 84 rated squad and an 87 rated squad. I also think 85, 87 would be a potential requirement for the SBC today, but hopefully it's less than 200K. If it's more than 200K, I'm going to be completely honest. People will still go and do it. I mean, I'm going to be very tempted to do this SBC today, regardless of the cost, because 
the gamble of getting one of these cards and especially since they're new and there's a lot of great cards in here the gamble of it is pretty enticing i can't lie and i think that's why there's so much hype for this sbc today but that's kind of what i'm expecting for the price and again if it's anywhere under 200,000 coins i do think you're going to see sbc fodder cards going up in price and, and i mean as i think about my club right now I actually need to stock a couple of fodder cards in my club. And I know that I'm not doing this to try to make coins on these cards because I think if you were going to make the optimal amount of profit on SBC cards for today, I think you would have already bought, right? Because some of these card prices have gone up a little bit. But if you don't have any fodder in your club or any cards to do this SBC, I would say it's not a terrible time to go out on the market and just go and club stock, buy one, buy, buy yourself enough players to get the SBC done today or to at least cover your basis basically to do the SBC for a little bit cheaper because once this SBC does come out, it's going to be a mad dash of people going onto the market and trying to get players to add to their club that they can then go and use to get this SBC done. So that'd be my recommendation right now is I'd go on the market if you don't have anything and stock your club because it's it's gonna get pretty crazy today, honestly. 14 and a half K for a Mendy, like I'm gonna need this because I am gonna do this hero upgrade pack SBC. I'm not skipping out like I did in the icon upgrade just because that's how hype it is for me and I think for most people in the game. So I do expect fodder to rise. Some people might ask like, Nate, are these cards over invested? I mean, technically, there is a lot of investing that's gone on with this side of the market. I totally understand that. But I just think that with the amount of demand this type of SBC will have, of course, the ball is always in EA's court because if they make the SBC today too expensive, then they, you know, they, they could make some people not do it if it's way too expensive. But I feel like way too expensive for an SBC of this caliber would have to be 300K plus. They'd have to really make it way too expensive for SBC fodder to drop today because i just feel like this pack has so much hype so i feel like there's a very very slim chance of seeing spc fodder prices go down that much today i think more so it's just going to be so much demand to get this done and i think you'll see those prices go up so there's not too much of a risk there and if prices do go down a little bit i definitely would not panic sell because again we have a big promo coming this friday with the new out of position change promo so i just think that holding your fodder even in the case that it would stay the same price or go down a little today it definitely be something you want to hold on to throughout the week as it has potential to rise up with more content to be dropped messy player the month still out stuff like that so let's talk about where the market's going to go today other than just sbc fodder well you might be thinking about hero cards like nate if hero cards are going to be packable isn't yaya Torre going to crash in price isn't robbie keen marquisio and al awarian aren't these guys going to crash in price well the answer is yes slightly but also, I think that a lot of these guys are going to end up going back up. This is, I think what we're going to see is the same exact scenario that we saw last week with icons. And what I want to show you is last week, a very popular base icon that was packable from the Max 86 SBC, right? I think you can see it right here. Hullet was 872K, kind of dropped down into the panic before the SBC was released. Last Monday, Hullet went from 700, and actually it's, it shows 790K. Hullet was down at like 730, I think. There was like an hour or two of panic selling right after that icon SBC was released. And then all of the top tier icons that were packable from that just went rocketing back up in price. Hullet went from like 730 all the way up to 900,000 coins. And so many other of your top tier hero cards. And even some of the ones that aren't that top tier, I think about Baby Blanc who is not that expensive of an icon card, but last week he was in the low 300s and then rocketed up to the high 300s. He was like 370, 380 for a couple days last week uh, before now dropping back down a little bit more. I think that's how the hero is hero market's going to react today. I think guys like Yaya Torre especially. Yaya Torre was 1.3 mil on the weekend, right? Before this leak happened for this SBC to drop. And now he's down at 1.169. This is a card today that might not drop any lower than like I don't even, he, he might not even go down a total of like 70 or 80,000 coins. Like seriously, I think that people are going to be so on top of the market today that yes, this SBC will have a lot of hype, but I also think that prices are going to rebound very fast today. So watch during that first hour after the SBC drops, some of your most popular and uh, honestly the hardest to pack hero cards that will be in this SBC. Marquisio, 
um, the Yagatore that we just pointed out, some of those guys, um, maybe Joe Cole, Cordoba, Smolarek, Govu, those guys are going to be tough to pack. Not very many of people are going to get it from a Max 87 uh, Hero SBC today. So people are going to sell these and panic to go do the SBC and, and fear that their prices are going to go down. But then what actually is going to happen is people don't pack the Marquisio or the Yagatore that they think they're going to. And then, of course, they have to go back out to the market and buy those players back up for their team. And there's just a lot of hype for heroes in general when an SBC like this comes out. So that's what I would really, really watch out for today. So if you want to make coins, watch out for some of these hero cards that are that are absolutely going to drop in price today because of panic selling um, around the content time after the SBC is released. But then, of course, watch them as they rebound back up later as people go back out to the market and buy the cards that they were not able to pack. So that's what I would say for today on the market. Be very careful with the lower tier ones, though. Uh, you know, guys, guys, even like Landon Donovan, right? There's been a big MLS push recently. He's, he was up to 110. Now he's 85,000 coins. I still think there's some hype there. Peter Crouch is like 40K. Tim Cahill's 42,000 coins. Some of these really low tier uh, hero cards might even get really low and then bounce back a bit just because they're still semi-popular cards on this game. Ole, of course, with the nice links to Erling Holland, both being from Norway. So really watch out for the hero cards today. But in general, if you think about it, last week we had this happen too. 150,000 coins-ish to get this SBC done. A lot of people had to sell cards from their teams to go out and get this SBC done. So it doesn't just impact the hero cards in the market. It kind of impacts everything else as well. I do expect to see a pretty sizable just market dip today at content on Rule Breakers cards. I mean, these Rule Breakers that are in packs from Rule Breakers Team 2, they might even get supplied a bit, right? Last week, we had two different packs, a premium mixed players pack and a small prime Electrum that were the rewards out of the two SBCs inside of the Icon upgrade if that sort of thing happens today, if it's a two or three segment SBC, I think you'll see some supply hit the market as well. That could drop some of the prices on these uh, Rule Breakers Team 2 cards. And then I think you'll just see some panic selling on the rest of the market. Now, if you're trying to make coins specifically, if that's your only goal today on the game, watch Road to the Knockouts because these guys have games this week. Tomorrow is a UCL Tuesday with UEFA marquee matchups. Games and upgrades are on the line for a lot of these players. If there are price drops today on any of these cards, especially if they are cards that are very close to getting an upgrade, like Aubameyang, a guy who won his first round game two weeks ago when the Road to the Knockout promo was first out. Keep an eye specifically on those types of players for big drops. Juan Basaka would be another one, and then potentially having their prices rise later on this week. So that's a great part of the market to be watching today. Ones to watches as well. I mean, think about it. These guys are getting upgraded on Wednesday, right? Lewandowski, they got the upgrade. He's going to go up. I think right now it looks like he's down to 370. Nah, that's an undercut. Just kidding. Um, you know, some of these guys that are getting plus ones or, or plus twos, on Wednesday because they hit that threshold for the upgrade, right? Renato Sanchez is going to get a plus three because PSG won. So that sort of thing, if you see drop-offs on these cards, I think that's a great watch as well. And even your out-of-packs team of the week cards and Rule Breakers team one. Think about Calvin Phillips or PK, cards that have risen really, really well out of packs. If you see a big drop on any of those, I think it'll create a great opportunity to get into some trading aspects of the market today. Because again, like I said, a lot of what you would see today on the market is some panic. I think you would see some panic of people that have to go sell a card or two from their team to go and get the SBC done. But then, of course, they go, they pack somebody. It's not who they wanted to get. They go back out on the market and buy those cards right back for their team. So watch Heroes, watch Out of Packs card today, even some of your meta golds. I remember last week I traded with literally everything, golds, icons, heroes, Out of Packs informs. There was a ton of movements on the market last week with the icon. I can only imagine it's going to be even crazier today with a hero SBC. So definitely watch out for all of that stuff. And again, I do think you would see a bit of a market bounce back too, because so many people have been waiting for this SBC to drop for all the panic and stuff that's going to ensue afterwards. I really do think that you will see some nice price rises, even though, you know, it's not Mondays aren't days, especially after 6 p.m. on Mondays are not days that you really usually see a huge market rise on. It's usually in the morning on Mondays. But I think with everything, all the anticipation that's been building up to this SBC that we should see today, um, you know, I think there will be some nice rises on the market later today. So definitely watch out for that. Now, that's a lot about one big SBC. Of course, it is very hype. But what else is happening today on Monday? Well, Mondays always bring upgrade packs, right? Now, 
we had the 80 plus upgrade pack. I think that was during Road to the Knockouts. Last week, during week one of Rule Breakers, we had the 78 plus pack dropped again. Now, could we see a player pick SBC today? Personally, I'm hoping that EA don't drop the player pick. I mean, it would be nice, but at this stage, like the Rule Breakers promo has just been like kind of L content the whole entire time. I'm not expecting EA to go crazy today with that side of the content. I mean, we wouldn't complain about a 75 plus player pick because even if, if they do that, that's going to just create more hype content. Um, I mean, and we're not going to complain if they do that, but it almost just feels like, I guess what I'm trying to say is it doesn't feel like it should happen because nothing inside of this promo has been super insane or a, a huge surprise thus far, if I'm being completely honest. So that, that's why I'm, I don't think we're going to get player picks today, but the 80 plus upgrade pack or the 78 plus pack again would be very, very possible, which again, those have not been terrible value whatsoever. Um, as people maybe have a chance to pack some rule breakers cards, maybe it's Ribery or after, maybe it's Tiago, maybe it's Havertz or something. Uh, one of the more hype players that are in this promo, but you know, ooh, 370 for Tiago. He's dropping a little bit. Nice. Um, I do think that we'll get some sort of upgrade pack today. That's almost a given, right? It's a Monday. So that happens. So the combination of the hero pack and the upgrade packs today are definitely the two most hype things in the day. Now, also, also today, what I would look out for, um, you know, last Monday with the hero pack, they also dropped Essien and Trezeguet. We have two other, I think it's um, Casillas and Vidic have been leaked as icon player SBCs. Mondays may be the new day where they drop icon player SBCs. They might not do any more today. I do think that this could happen in, you know, the next couple of weeks, though, is that we continue to see these drops. So just be careful. Maybe another icon player SBC today. I want to throw something out there, though. I think EA is going to change it up this year. Maybe for the first time ever, we'll have specific hero play your SBCs as well. You know, maybe since they're basing hero content, uh, you know, a lot more into the game with, you know, the hero upgrade packs and adding more heroes to the game. I just think that would be a nice touch, especially for as they're going to upgrade heroes throughout the year, maybe not give us like a Yaya SBC right away, but you know, a medium to lower tier, maybe like a Papan SBC that you could do for like a really cheap price or, you know, I don't know, maybe like a Govu or somebody like a newer hero, like Rudy Valer. Maybe you could add in an SBC for him. Maybe we're too early for something like that as well, since these cards are not that expensive, but I just have a feeling that that could be something that EA would do at some point this year is drop foot hero player SBCs like we have icon SBCs. I feel like they could just drop uh, hero SBCs in that section as well. And I think that'd be some welcomed content. People would enjoy that because heroes, again, are kind of more hyped this year than icons are in general. So other than the upgrade packs today, though, I'm not sure if we're going to get to anything super crazy. There's really nothing leaked right now on the market. I mean, or on Twitter, there's nothing leaked besides uh, the hero pack expectations, um, and, and and that's really about it. So hopefully we do get some cool content today. Now, really quickly elsewhere on the market and on the game, we did have some new cards dropped yesterday. We had a dynamic duo between the Serie A team uh, teammates of Posh and Marco Arnautovic. Now, Arnautovic looks really good, and so does Posh. I think, again, this dynamic duo concept is a W. It doesn't give us the most insane cards in the world, but it gives you two really dope cards for uh, just stocking your club with nice position changes. And I think they're both lengthy, actually. Yeah, Arnautovic is lengthy by default. And then I believe Posh is as well. But let me tell you guys this. I mean, if you have some extra 83s in the club, both of these are just an 83 rated squad and a team of the week. Easy, easy, easy to do. These are great dynamic duo SBCs to get done, especially if you think about maybe starting to prepare your club for like an icon swaps further down the line. You know, if you do this, get it done, you automatically have some nice untradeable, decent players in your club that you can use and have some fun with when Serie A specific objectives come out. And it's kind of more like the card collecting aspect of the game that we talk about. Of course, a lot of you guys that are even watching this video have extra interest in, right? Whether it's making coins or putting some good value cards in the club, I would just say that, you know, don't skip these on these all the time. Now, I've been somebody who has not done any dynamic duels yet, but I think this might be the first one that I do, especially with upgrade packs this week. 
I'm going to have a couple of 83s to rinse into these two SBCs. I've got a couple untradeable Team of the Week cards in my club. They keep releasing that 80-plus Team of the Week every week. I do it once, put one of those Team of the Week cards in here. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that these are, are something that to, to not skip out on because, you know, especially once we get those objectives upcoming, which I don't think are going to be too far away. I'm probably like hopefully a month away from Icon Swaps, maybe a little bit longer than that. But even a swap program in general, we shouldn't be super duper far away from that. And just stocking these types of cards in the club are, is really nice for getting objectives done and, and starting your club off right in that direction. So I like that content. We have the Dominson Sanchez, the Marino, and the Roldan. Dominson Sanchez for me is just another prem center back. I mean, I am a Spurs fan. I'm going to have to give this card a go. He does have really good work rates. He has got the unique body type as well. Davinson Sanchez was a very OP meta gold card a couple FIFAs ago. Very hyped for sure. Lengthy by default. He is two-star, two-star, which is not that great, but his stats look decent except for composure uh, and reactions. And, you know, 72,000 coins might be a fun prem center back to try. And then we have Marino here, which is, we're basically calling him Robertone 2.0. Um, he can be lengthy with a multiple uh, of different chem styles, high and average body type, high, high work rates, three star, three star. So, and of course the link to the ever popular striker, uh, which I somehow am forgetting his name right now. I have Sorloth. How could I forget about Sorloth, right? He's got a link to Sorloth, which I think is a little bit of extra hype there. So will we see a nice rise into Monday on a guy like Marino? You guys might remember last week, we saw the huge rise on Robert Tone. And his price went absolutely f uh, flying. Now, I don't know if we're going to see that with Mikel Marino today. I picked up a couple of these just under 60,000 coins. I really don't know if this guy's going to fly today in price. I'm not expecting it. Uh, I think people are seeing what happened last week, and they're expecting that to happen this week. But with a big hero upgrade SBC on the horizon, last week that max 86 icon, we didn't really expect it on Monday as much as we expect the hero today. So that anticipation, I think, will hurt some people's motivation. Wow, 58K with a shadow. I'm going to get that. Okay, I'll take that. Not a problem. I just think that might hurt some team buying uh, today on Monday. Now, I do think the market can still have a decent rise today, which we just got one heck of a deal on a Marino there. I'm going to list this up right away. Take my couple thousand coins of profit, quick flips. Um, I still think that we have a little bit of a market rise in store for us today. Um, I think we can absolutely see some of your meta golds that have just been low all weekend, especially if there's some team of the week potential. You know, I think about a guy like Usman Dembele, who's already started to rise up a little bit in price after his performance yesterday. His gold card is starting to go up. Um, Holland, of course, had a couple goals over the weekend. Some people are, are maybe thinking that he could be in team of the week. I think that some of these guys could potentially go up on the market today and some of your other meta golds in general, right? I feel like I always check Benzema and Benzema is stupid cheap at the moment at like 56,000 coins. That's, I think, almost the cheapest that I've seen him. Uh, 56, 57K, 53K on a snipe right there. So, just keep an eye out on your gold meta market today and some of your out of packs cards and even some of the rule breakers I think could have slight rises today. But I think with that hero pack being in mind for a lot of people that might hurt the rise on some of those cards. If you're wanting to get somebody like Neymar for your team, Neymar is kind of low right now, 1.17. These are cards that I would look at. If you even want to invest in team of the week for a quick flip and buy in the panic today, uh, even though I'm not a huge fan of this team of the week in terms of investing, uh, I do think that some of these guys might get cheap today with the hero pack coming out with that panic in general. So keep an eye on some of those as well if that's an in, in, in interest uh, for you on this market. But really, I just think today is going to bring us a pretty crazy day all centered around that hero pack and everybody trying to get this pack and trying uh, to gamble, right? And then after that, it's just going to be some crazy market movements of a lot of people going back out and buying cards for their teams or um, maybe trying out heroes that they had seen a lot of people pack pull. Like that's that's another aspect of when you have a gamble pack like we could potentially have today dropped on the game. A lot of people will just see there'll be a lot of hype around heroes and that just kind of pushes their prices up in general, which is why, again, I think for me personally today, I'm going to be looking at a lot of hero cards and road to the knockouts because, you know, if I see a guy like Aubameyang drop back down to like 530K, where I almost bought him at yesterday on Sunday, and, and now he's like 600,000 coins. It's kind of crazy. But if this guy drops down like that much for a hero SBC today, then that's the kind of card that I want to be involved in. A very rare card that can really easily bounce back uh, and is very hype on this game for whatever reason that it is. And it looks like we just sold that uh, Merino for a cheeky couple thousand coins of profit. Boom. 
trading live on the YouTube video. You absolutely love to see it. So big day ahead today on Monday. Get ready for that hero pack. Stock some cards in the club if you need to and get ready to make some coins. It's going to be a fun one. We're going to do it all live on stream. Twitch.tv slash foot account and link down below in the description. I'll see you guys there today. It's been Nate's foot account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.